So you want to redo your house fast and not spend a lot of money? Well, paint wizard Debbie Travis says all you need is a little paint and a lot of guts. <laughs> and you, I think that you're right, because if it doesn't work, you can just paint over That's it. That's it. Paint's cheap, Paint's and you cheap. can go right over the top and just put a weekend aside. That's all it is. Okay. After the kitchen makeover, she found more things to paint and had a brush working over time all throughout the house. Here. Well, first of all, it's, it's such a male bedroom. It's so masculine. I mean, look at the lights. What are the spotlights over the bed for? What yeah, about your bathroom? Works. When did you do those tiles? Sometime in the 70s. Yeah, that's what it looks like. For the bedroom, I enlisted Aaron's help and assigned him the simple job of putting a base coat on the walls. My first mission, give the old bathroom tiles a new terracotta look with the help of my co-worker, Paul. Now, on the walls, what we're doing is we want to see these shapes here. So we've got edging cream, we've got um, high DC primer, and this stuff is tinted stucco, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a little bit of sand in it, and as I'm rolling it, it's giving you a little bit of texture at the same time. We need two coats, do we, Paul? That's right. Back in the bedroom, we've added chalk lines over Aaron's base coat. We're going to make beautiful cedar-looking planks only using paint. We have two colors. It's paint with varnish. Now, remember, everything goes in the direction of the grain. So we're just creating our own little patterns in it. Now, there's some water here. It's a good idea to keep putting a bit of water on to keep it loose, because it dries really flat. Just keep running your brush through. All right, now, if we want to use our rough brush, we can just rough it up a bit bit of rough stuff like that. All right, we have to do all of these and then let them dry. Now, doesn't that look like real wood? And we're going to put now a wash over the top. This is just going to unify all the planks. Paul added colour to the stucco in the bathroom to give the tiles an earthy tone. So we've got this nice browny colour. Very little, right? Yeah, this whole that's thing. right. And um, your ordinary kitchen yeah. sponge. So you just get a little bit on the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it'll start to stain the wall immediately. Okay. So it'll soak in a little bit and it'll start to set up. Then what, what you'll be able to do is just get a little bit of water out of your, your sponge so it's not quite oh, as... Sorry. So we're trying to get it all like mockly. Okay. Yeah, and you can see it's starting to reveal the texture. So oh, you're starting yeah. to see the graining in it. Oh, yeah, do you okay. yeah. When do we put the ready one on? We can put it on right now. And, and you'll see you don't need much. The last step to create an illusion of terracotta tiles, add varnish and grout. Fabulous, I really love this, I really love it. What's clever here is this is the corner. Now, what we've done is we've wrapped the wood or the paint around the corner so it really looks like the illusion is kind of carried on. So where it's dark, it literally goes around about half an inch. Once you get the hang of it, it was really very fast. His bed is a big king-size sleigh bed, but by adding a slipcover over the top, we've given it a kind of softer look. In just a few hours, we transform this boring bedroom into a rich, inviting retreat. Let's take a look at what we did in this bathroom. His bathroom was really plain white, 80s tile. But by using the latest in cement and stucco, we completely covered not only the tile on the walls, but the tile around the bath. Now, Aaron had a huge mirror behind the vanity, so we've really just dressed it up by adding some stop molding and putting a patina on it. This bachelor pad is a far cry from what we started out with, if I must say so myself, a job well done. Very warmed it up. Very really good, Debbie. Excellent. Now, can you paint? Can you paint over any kind of tile? Yeah, ceramic tile, shiny tile. What you need, the key is that primer, and you get that in any hardware store. And that's the grip. It's like the tooth that'll hold it onto the tile. That was a, a plaster stucco that now grips onto the primer. So you prime it all with a roller. That takes you a couple of hours, and maybe do that one weekend, and then go right over the top. And you know, in Gail's living room, you mm. had that wonderful kind of um, terracotta color. Right. What's great in a bathroom about that colour is it, it reflects on your skin tone, so it makes you look kind of healthy and, you know, you don't want greens in the morning, do you? You want, no. you know, warm colours that make you look really good. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, I, I've always heard peach was really wonderful, it's especially for women's colour. bedrooms. It's really and, and wonderful. I think terracotta is this... Um, millennium's um, peach, if you will, or this right. year's peach. Right. Whereas, you know, in the 80s, peach, it's got a bit salmon-y. Yeah. And it's got that browny, earthy thing in, and it really is great in any room.